Hello, hello. It's P800 guy here real quick. And um, yeah, of course we got the P800 going over there somewhere. There it is. It's going. Got to keep it moving. <clears throat> and um, yeah, just real quick. Let's do a quick video here. I was in a like a DTF chat room the other day and someone shared one of my videos. Considering I only have 42 subscribers and like my views are like under 100. That was the coolest thing ever. So yes, I am gonna do another video right now. Thanks for the support. All right, so one thing that um, a lot of people ask is, you know, what if you make a mistake, right? What if you make a mistake on a, on a DTF shirt? How do you remove it? Do you have to buy a new shirt? Uh, the question is, yes. I mean, sorry, the answer is yes and no. Um, I do have, I do use a solution to remove DTF. Uh, does it always work? On 100% cotton shirts like this, for the most part, yeah. Um, especially with smaller stuff like the letters. This thing here, maybe leave some residue, but we're gonna see if we can remove the whole thing, okay? So that's what I'm gonna do right now. Um, I use a solution called, I'll tell you it after. But, um, <laughs> so we'll see if it works first and then see if it's even worth um, pushing out there. All right, so let's see. I'm going to put this stuff on it. Firstly, some people do do it different ways. Uh, with vinyl, you can remove it too. You start from the underneath, underneath the fabric. You kind of apply it underneath the fabric. Me, with DTF, I noticed that it's more effective for me at least to apply it over the actual design. So let's see how this works. All right, let's go. Let's try with let's try with one of the letters first. Okay. There we go. All right. So let that sit for a minute. Um, what I'm looking for now is just something to wipe it with. So let's see. Stretch it out a bit. Stretch it out a bit. Bop bop. And then we rub it off. Look at that. Beautiful, right? So you do see a little residue there. Residue is not really a big deal though. If I can just find my sleeve, oh, there it is. Residue is not really the biggest deal though. So you just put a little more there. That's it, and just give it another wipe. Wow, look at that. All right, so yes, it takes a little work if you're gonna do all the letters. You gotta do that, right? So once you do see a little residue like that, that's that's nothing. Once you put that under a press, which I will, as soon as my press kind of heats up, actually it should be okay. So bear with me one second. Let me put it on the press and kind of just press it real quick and see what happens. You can't see me pressing, but I am pressing just for a couple seconds. And what is the verdict? Wow. Gone, gone, gone. All right, All right. and even if it's there, it's barely there. Your clients won't notice that. So, that was a letter. Now, does it work on this big thing here? Well, only one way to find out. Let's go. You gotta just get it all. Hey, no one said this was gonna be quick, but it could save you time and money, potentially, especially on smaller stuff. But I'm literally doing a big one just to see if it works. And I'm doing it live too, just to make sure. All right, so let that look, it's already peeling already. All right, so we'll let that sit for a bit. And let it go. There. Stretch it out a bit. Loosen it up a bit. Okay. All right. Let's get this party started.
little bit more. And a little bit more solution. Okay. Ta-da. Ta-da. Wow. Okay. All right. So, as I said before, once you do the first roll, first down, um, clean, you do another one for the residue that it might leave. And obviously, this is a big one. This was a big um, coverage. So, you're going to get, get residue. It's what it is. You're right? Doesn't do it 100% clean, but we're gonna see how much we can do. Sometimes you might even have to add it a third time. All right. If I have, if you have like a black rag, I'm just using a, a t-shirt, so there's no like grooves or anything. If you have like a rag with grooves in it, yeah, that'd be pretty cool. All right. So there you go. There is the um actual uh, design we're gonna see if we put it under the press if that um, stuff will go away you know I'm a little paranoid throw a little bit more on that this has saved my life countless times all right so let's see once you put it under press Look. Uno momento, por favor. Obviously, my whatever I was keeping it is horrible. <laughs> Let's see if this works. I'm back. And let's see the verdict. Ah, and this is under extreme light. Let's turn off the light. Is looking whatever? So, as mentioned, I used a worst case scenario, bigger coverage. So you are gonna see a little, you're gonna see a little dust, a little stuff like that, you know what I mean? But um, especially if you're putting something back over it, this is fine. I, I've done this hundreds of times, right? Now, a couple things you need to know. Is this thing toxic? Uh, I guess. So, you know, you wanna either put on a mask or open a window just to be safe. Here is the product that I use. There are other ones out there, I guess. This is what I use. Um, if you're in Toronto, I can tell you where to get it. Other than that, just Google it. VLR, AlbaCam, whatever, right? Does it work on all materials? I've tried it on a lot of different materials. Uh, it doesn't work on all materials. Some materials like Lululemon um, stretch um, pants with the polyester and with different the different um, uh, materials that they use, it does sometimes cause a, like a bleach looking stain. Um, so I don't recommend it on that. But if you but standard t-shirts, standard t-shirts, I use these all the time, all the time. All right. So uh, if you have any other questions regarding it, let me know. This is the P800 guy here again. And uh, yeah, like and subscribe, please. You know, share the video if you want. Ask me some questions, you know, and I'll do my best to answer. And uh, once again, thank you very much for your support, all right?